keys, keys. Where did I put? Did the Burlacker buy a Bugatti? No. This doesn't make any sense though. What in the world? What? What is this doing here? What? No, no. Okay, so there was there was a Bugatti Veyron park there. There, there was, right? Like there was. What? Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog and welcome back to another perfect day here in the beautiful state of Utah. Boys, we have quite possibly the coolest car that has ever descended on the state of Utah headed right here. Like right here. It's on its way in about 25, 35 minutes. It'll be here. And then the Aventador, the camo is done and it turned out so good. I know a lot of you guys are feeling uneasy about the new wrap on the Aventador. We're going to back it outside. Once you get like the full walk around, I think you guys are going to get like a better perspective of how it looks because like tucked away in the garage it doesn't do it justice it looks so so sick faith and clayton killed it the aventador's personality has just been completely transformed it used to be sinister and stealthy and now it just has this really playful vibe it's amazing how the car's look has just completely been changed with the orange and the white camo i love how the orange ties in the caliper so well and just imagine when the white Brixton Forge wheels are reinstalled this summer. Kind of my tentative plan for the car is to leave it wrapped like this until maybe June and then unwrap the entire car back to the factory Arancio Argos, which you can see here on the doors. That's the plan. Could change, it might not. The Bugatti, that's right, the Bugatti is gonna be here soon. We're gonna move the Focus out of the garage, we're gonna pull the Super out, we're gonna have the Super and the Gladiator right there, and then we're gonna park the Bugatti right there. So, focus. <laughs> Start up. I posed this question on my Instagram, but let me know what you think in the comments below. Should we camo the Gladiator and the Supra to match the event? Or the trio looked amazing, all purple. Think about how crazy they'd look if they were all camo. So we're gonna go up on the roof uh, to get those views on views. I know I'm getting carried away with the roof shot, and yes, my neighbors think I'm weird. I know that. The camo and the event looks insane. Whoa. I promised my mom and dad I wouldn't do this anymore, but the views are sick. They're absolutely amazing. Whoa. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Good, we're totally good. So there's a missing spot right there. The car is en route right now. It's gonna be here in less than five minutes coming down that street. Also the cam on the Aventador looks insane. Whoa. This is the coolest thing that has ever happened in the state of Utah. Are you kidding me? The legend Houston Crosser from Royalty Exotics with the Bugatti Veyron. What? That's so sick, dude. Okay, that's cool. That is so sick. Cradle it like a baby. You got this? Yes. This is my whole livelihood. <laughs> my YouTube channel will be deleted. <laughs> Keep it coming. Keep it coming. The 2008 Bugatti Veyron being delivered to the house. That's right, boys. This is, this is Houston's car. Houston, congratulations, dude. Good to see you, man. So Houston drove all the way up from Las Vegas here to Salt Lake City with the Veyron. We're gonna try not to get into too much trouble, but inevitably, I think we probably will. If the Burlacker's watching today's video, I appreciate you letting me use the X5. We just gotta get those angles. I gotta get the thumbnail. Check that out. That is so sick. Like, it is January in Utah. This is the only Bugatti Veyron in the entire state. And it's here in my driveway. How sick is that? Okay, so um, this is this is tricky. Whoa. I need help. Wait, I don't know if this is a good idea. Maybe. Last time. Okay. I know. I know. Wait, well, too soon. <laughs> too soon. The last time I drove Houston's other van and I broke it. Uh, this this does not seem smart. There has to be somebody more qualified here. There has here. to be another way. There has to be. Maybe I. Sh Actually, this is just as dangerous. <laughs> I would break. The hmm. This is this is happening. We are jumping into the Bugatti. First, I need to unlock it. Obviously, I'm incredibly nervous, but we're gonna be good. Ooh, that interior, sick. Yeah, all red. Whoa. This is a good day. A very, very good day in the driver's seat of the Veyron. Whoa. Yes, the key looks like it's straight out of a Volkswagen Jetta. So we're just gonna turn the ignition on and roll the windows down. So foot off the brake. We are kind of sort of driving a Bugatti Veyron. Not really, but we kind of are. It counts. It definitely counts. 
<laughs> this is so sick. Okay, so we're gonna reverse it. We are driving a Bugatti Veyron right now, boys. Oh my gosh, slow, slow, we're still on the ramps. Slow and steady, this is insane. This is so incredibly cool. I was telling Houston, I mean, five years ago, I was working as a night auditor making $14 an hour, and now he's delivering a Bugatti Veyron to my house, and we're just gonna play with it in the snow for the next couple of days. This is like, this is just, child, my childhood dream couldn't even have imagined something like this. We got the Veyron right here. We're gonna park it right there, get some photos, and then I'm not really sure as far as what we're gonna do, but. I think we're gonna get into some trouble. Unfortunately, it's a Tuesday, so all of my neighbors are at work right now, but uh, we got the Veyron. Looks so good. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that Houston should wrap his Veyron purple and get a set of white wheels? Let me know in the comments below. That's a good idea. This is epic, dude. Thank you so much for bringing the Veyron up here from Vegas. All right, I need one favor. Okay. Let's do a car wash. A car wash, yes. Let's do it. I know the spot. I know the self car wash. My adventure, as you can see, is also a disaster. But yes, a but car wash for sure. It. Can we get dirty again? Of course, yeah. We gotta get in the snow. You have Pirelli Soto Zero winter tires. Dude, Houston has 355 rear Soto Zero winter tires on his Veyron. I didn't even know they made those. You had to get them like- Imported. It, right. From Canada. From Canada. <laughs> All great winter things come from Canada. We have to understand that, right? I know I said it was the last time we're getting on the roof, but there's a Veyron, there's a Bugatti Veyron here. Like, we, we, we don't have it. Patience is essential, but I cannot wait, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Whoa, that is so sick. I think, yep, it's definitely time for the drone. In three, two, one. The Veyron looks so aggressive right there with the wing up. This is so cool. All right, so I'm parking the Aventador in the garage, and I'm not really entirely sure what we're doing, but we might go to Mobetta's, maybe. I have no idea where we're going or what we're doing. I can only imagine what the kids on the school bus are thinking, too. I never imagined the day I'd be driving down my neighborhood street in a Veyron. Houston, thank you so much. This is so cool. Of course it's cool. This is the this best is day ever. This is so, so sick. Okay, so we are headed to Chase, and then Mobetta's, dun, dun, dun. Done. Oh man, I need some Hawaiian barbecue. It just, can, we just need it. I just really, I miss Hawaii. Now it's so cold. So you're gonna bring that to me. It's 48 degrees in January. It's warm here. Houston, dude, you're spending too much time in Vegas. Wait for it, wait for it. Gosh, I forgot what a Peyron was like. The Aventador is fast. This is like next level. And that was, I don't know, 35% throttle maybe. Jeez. It's like warp speed, oh my gosh. That was 55, I'm, I'm pretty sure of it, pretty sure. This is the most surreal day. We're in a Bugatti at my favorite restaurant, Mobetta's. Basically, I'm living my normal life today, but we're in a Veyron. Girth Nation, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. I think I've been to Mobetta's seven times in the last eight days, and I say that and, and it's actually true. How was it? Oh, it was, oh my God. Better than expected, it's Honestly, good, it's say, good. It was so epically good. I don't want to drive. There you go. Um, are you sure? This doesn't this doesn't seem like the right thing to do, but I'm not gonna say no. <laughs> I was not expecting this today. Okay, so I gotta I gotta figure out how to unlock it actually. The Volkswagen. I know my insurance agent happens to be a big fan of the channel. Uh, today's video is effectively over. I'm not I'm not actually gonna drive this, so yeah, today's video is over. <laughs> I think he's gone. I'm pretty sure we're good. Oh my god. You cannot help but just like smile like a little kid right now. We are behind the steering wheel of a 1,001 horsepower Bugatti Veyron in the beautiful state of Utah. Luckily, I'm off probation, so we're good. My 60 days expired <laughs> two days ago, so obviously there could be a never doubt. There could be a full send coming very soon. A little bit more, roll into it. Jeez, that's insane. Oh my gosh, okay, we gotta chill. We gotta chill, we gotta chill. Ease into it, it's got a 1,000 horsepower. Go, 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 go. So it sounds pretty good, it has four turbos, but Houston has some plans. A lot of plans. Including a much, much better exhaust. Guys, if you don't follow Houston on YouTube, go check him out because the exhaust vlog is pretty soon, yeah? Oh my God, it's next week. When I was nine years old, I could have never dreamed of doing this. We're driving a Bugatti Veyron 
down my neighborhood street to my house. This is so sick. Like, I just, I cannot get this grin off my face. I just wanna like take in the moment and appreciate it because my house is right there and, and the moment's about to end. And but we'll be okay. What do you guys think of Houston's Ram 5500? $85,000. How cool would it be to get one of those? I could take my Aventador on like a cross country tour. So he's gonna leave the truck here. We're gonna hop in the Veyron and the Aventador and we're headed that way. The Veyron looks so good in motion. <laughs> the Aventador does sound better though. We have that going. Flex the V12. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Oh, no! He's gone! Yes! Yes! That is loud! Oh my gosh, we're gonna... See ya! <laughs> go, Vinci, go, 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 go! No, Bayron, no! My foot! My foot was to the floor! Good news, bad news. The good news, well, there's not really good, but we have a little bit of snow. We don't have enough snow, so Houston's gonna try it. He's never done donuts in this, in the snow on winter tires. So we'll see, we'll see. This is so pathetic, come on Utah. I like it. I really like it. I hate it. How do you like this? This is garbage, this is nonsense. The only thing I don't like is that the patches of ice oh, are right. strong. True, so true. I can feel it. So I really need to push it. So it's either I push it or I fail. Off camera, Houston just said, let's try this. I don't know what that means, but he said, let's try this. Did you just push launch control? I, I did. You did. Okay, so we're gonna launch the Veyron in the snow and ice, presumably. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that might have been okay. the coolest thing I have ever seen. That was insane. Jeez, that was sick. All right, and my pants are, I'm, I'm good, I'm good, I'm okay. That was sick. Okay. That was insane. That was good. That was good. Welcome here to the Montage Deer Valley. I used to work here six years ago when I first moved to Park City. It is so surreal to be here in the Aventador and the Veyron. A lot of you guys know that I first moved to Park City six years ago. I didn't know anybody. I didn't have a place to live. I did not have a job. I slept in my Audi TT actually the first night and then three weeks later I got a job here at the Montage Deer Valley. I was an administrative assistant in the uh, maintenance department making $17 an hour. It is so surreal to to come back with the Aventador and the Bugatti Veyron. Houston, dude, that was epic. Thank you so much Like to deliver the Veyron to my house. like I will never forget that. That is just insane. Until it happens again. Until it happens again, or it's mine. <laughs> Should I? Guys, in the comments below, do you want to see me buy a Bugatti Veyron someday? Maybe. 2021. That's my year, 2021. Yes. Come, the hypercar is coming to the vlog near you guys. Okay, so Houston, I'm gonna see you tomorrow. Tomorrow. We have a spin class. Spin class, 8 a.m. And maybe a ski board, snowboard lesson as well for you. Yeah, you know, I haven't been on the board for a long time, so I'm gonna need it. I really am gonna Well, there's no better time that, yeah. So I, I think I've said enough without saying too much. We, we if, you, if you saw the vlog last year, how do, how do I say this? Yeah, more to come. <laughs> <laughs> there is a cop behind me, but he's like nine cars, so I, th I think we're good. Fluffer Husker! Hey, buddy! Hey, Fluffer, come back! Come back! Sit! Sit! Happy birthday, dude! Happy birthday! Guys, it's Oscar's first birthday! Yeah, you're a good Fluff. You're the world's best Fluff. Happy birthday, bud! Happy birthday! January 16, 2020! Yeah! Alright, come on! Hustle! Hustle! Let's go, bud! Let's go! Let's go! Come on! Inside! I gotta end the video! I gotta end the video! And then we celebrate! I have some very exciting news. If you saw my last vlog, I made a verbal offer on that piece of land. The seller verbally accepted it. Then I signed the contract and I just got confirmation that the seller signed the contract as well. So I am officially under contract on that piece of land. Now I won't close on the property for 48 days, which puts me in the first week of March, but unofficially, officially, I have bought a piece of land. So it's very exciting. Uh, anyways, that is going to effectively in today's video. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did like squad, be sure to smash that like button. But just like that, this vlog is over and I'm out.